Hi everybody, it's Pam again with Silver and Sparkles. And I have, um, if you can probably tell, sitting here on my desk is a new one page wonder for us. This is a little bit of a different twist. I decided to do a one page wonder where you end up with three um, fabulous pieces of ephemera. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it, fabulous ephemera. Okay, so the first one um, that, that you can make if you chop your paper up this way is just a very easy little folder and I then layered some other papers just to decorate it up a bit. Um, this one is a thin, it's not even a cardstock um, weight paper, but it had a nice ivory color on the other side, and I just think it turned out really pretty, and look how super skinny it is. And then you could put, I put these little um, coordinating little I don't know it's in, it's one it's in my I think this is the floral delights kit and it um these are just little 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 pieces little treasures um of the different patterns and colors on the papers so they could be used to make a cluster you could write on them just to decorate a page or a tag or something okay so that was one thing and then I made this cute little um, matchbook style um, journaling spot. Uh, I guess is what I'm gonna call it. So whoever is using this could actually then tear these papers out and use them like for collaging or something, um, or you could journal on it, I'm not quite sure. But I thought it was cute and it's super easy to make. And then you make the, then we're going to make the special envelope. And um, I really like it because it has this pocket here um, in the flap, which I'm not sure I've done one with a pocket in the flap before. And then it has the main piece or the main section, you know, of the envelope. So those are the pieces of ephemera we are going to make from one 12 by 12 piece of paper. I've already chopped mine up and I tried to lay it out here so you could get a sense of what we're doing. So I do have some instructions written down so I'll remember all the different cuts I made. I will have all of this for you guys in the description of the video, um, how, to, how to cut the paper, so don't worry um, as you're following along. So the first thing you want to do on your 12 by 12 piece of paper is cut it on um, one side at four inches and then that's going to leave you with um a 12 by 4 or 4 by 12 piece of paper okay so that's your first cut then on the section that is 8 by 12 you're going to cut it in half on the 12 inch side so that you end up with two pieces that are eight by six. One of them you're gonna set aside and leave as is. The other one, you're going to do some more cutting, a lot of cutting. So the first cut you're gonna to wanna to do is on this eight inch side, cut it at three inches. So now you have a three by six inch piece of paper. This is gonna be your little matchbook. And then the other, the rest of it is going to turn into the little pages. So this is now five by six, and you're going to cut it so that you end up with four pieces that are two and three quarters by two inches. And um, you can do that a variety of ways. What I did is I cut a quarter, is this a quarter of an inch? Nope, it's a half an inch. I cut a half an inch off, and this is extra. And then I cut, um, I'm just double checking, an inch off. And, and I actually didn't do that. What I did is I cut this in half so that um, I had two pieces then that were the two and three quarters by what is this the five yeah two and three quarters by five and then cut them in half again so anyway I'm gonna have that for you it's not hard this last piece um, cut off that quarter inch cut it in half 
and you're gonna have all the pieces you need. These are extras, so you can use them for something else or for decorating. That's, that's just, didn't end up in my project. These are gonna be the little pages for your matchbook, okay? So we're gonna do the matchbook first because um, it's, it's um, got all these little pieces. So I am gonna use my scoreboard and you can use a ruler, um, whatever you have to score is fine. So the first thing you're gonna do to make the little matchbook is you are going to, um, on the six inch side, score at three quarters of an inch and then at three and a half inches. So three quarters of an inch and then three and a half. All right, that's it for that one. So this comes together really easy. You're gonna fold, and this is going to be your flap that um, it tucks into. Now, the way to make this little flap stay up is I just run a bead of glue right along, right, right below the score line, right there. And it's, it's just enough to hold it, hold it in place where you can still tuck in, okay? And then on the little pieces of paper, you've got a couple of options, um, you know, and if you want them, you can turn them different ways. Um, you can have, um, I don't know, one green, uh, you know, it really doesn't matter. And one option, is to glue each piece right in and you do it right up to the to the fold line and it's still going to close up for you. You can glue each piece in. That's what I did on mine, but for this one, we're going to just staple it in. And I'm going to use my little tiny attacher and I certainly could have used a bigger stapler but this one wouldn't reach so I just did it that way and you have this cute little matchbook now because I stapled I might use this little strip here and put a little a little topper on it or I can go to my layering papers and put a top topper on it so for now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tear one of these. So I think that'll look interesting to me and put it right there. And I might even write something on this. I wasn't gonna spend too much time decorating these and layering these because that's pretty straightforward for you, but it does make them look really nice. So why don't we write, um, uh, today is a great day, exclamation point. And then I'm going to put a little heart. <laughs> and then whoever is using this will open it up and they'll see my little wish for them or my assertion that today is a great day. And it just covers up those little staples. Okay, and then you can also see how on my um, sample, I layered paper and I put happy thoughts on the outside. And I didn't put anything on the inside, but, but I certainly could have. So I think I like this color green paper that I'm working with today a little bit better than than that one, but there you go. So there's the one we made and that's how you construct it and that's the important part um, is to see how to make those. All right, so why don't we do, um, which one do we wanna do next? Let's do the little folder next. And this is made with the eight by six piece of paper. Oh, I just knocked the, <laughs> I just knocked the little foot off. Okay, put it back on, we're all good. So to, um, for this one, we are gonna score at one and a half inches, four inches, and six and a half inches. So one and a half, 
four and six and a half. Yay! And that was on the eight inch side. Now you fold it in, you fold it, um, go ahead and fold it in half on that four inch crease and see how I, even though I scored carefully, you still have to line everything up. It can sometimes just get a little crazy. Okay, so now we are gonna make the two pockets. See how simple? By folding these over and out of just a really um, simple piece of paper, you have this lovely little folder. All right, now if you made this out of a heavier weight cardstock, and I've done that, you could also, if you wanted to, you could sew in some skinny little pages, you know, and have like a little notebook um, with these side folders. You could also make it be this orientation. Um, lots of things you can do. And I think it looks really nice, you know, layered. I put um, a little uh, kind of tab there and then layered these pockets as well. And it's still super skinny. So lots of potential here with that fold. And if yours gets off just a smidge like my did, mine did, that's where you get out your trusty pair of scissors. And you can easily just snip that off. And I got this one off too. Not quite sure what happened there. Okay. And once you ink it, layer some pages, add a word or two, it's going to look fabulous. So there's that idea. And then the last thing we're going to make, this one is not hard, but it's a touch more involved. So let's get our scoring board back out. And I really think this would be honestly a great, again, I keep saying this with some of these, what a great mass make. You could just pull out a stack if you're like me and you have a stash of these old 12 by 12 papers and cut them, score them, fold them up, and then have them to then just decorate and layer the, the papers for whatever journal you happen to be working on. I love having things like that in my stash. So just an idea for you. Okay, so now on this strip that is four inches by 12 inches, we are gonna score it at two inches, four inches, eight inches, and 11 inches. So two inches, four inches, what did I say, eight and 11, eight and 11. Now this paper, like I said, is not a cardstock weight. And um, so I was very gentle scoring because I didn't want to uh, cut my paper inadvertently. Okay, so let's just fold on all of those score lines. And like I said, this paper has been with me <laughs> and moved multiple times um, since the kids were little and I was really heavy into scrapbooking, but it is so pretty and it's, um, both of these sheets were, I guess I bought at the same time, same maker, same little, uh, I don't even know who it is now, but um, it had, instead of being bright white on the back, it's this ivory color and I'm really enjoying that. So, okay, so what I did, because this is a lighter weight paper, I intended to fold over to just reinforce um, where you're, you're adding things to the envelope. So we're gonna go ahead and just glue this flap down. And then before we, I add glue here and here to make it the inside of the envelope, I am going to do what I did and just put a little notch there. I just thought it was kind of cute. And I know envelopes don't normally have a notch like that, but it kind of just reminds me of other junk journaling pockets and I really like it. So I'm gonna do that. You can skip this step or you can add a notch to yours if you like. I'm just eyeballing the center. I'm gonna do a notch there. Now we'll go ahead and glue the inside of our little special envelope. 
And then again, what I was really excited about this one was this pocket here that, that I made. So again, I wanna have a little notch so you can see it. And I'm not going too deep with my circle. And then for this one, we're gonna add glue to this side and um, along this edge. So the top edge and then along the side and close it up. And of course, if you'd rather have your opening on this end, you could have done that. Okay, now I thought, one thing that I thought made this one look really cute was just having this um, just tall enough that it fits all the way down in the pocket, but then you have the little piece of twine that you see on the front that hints that there's something special there. All right, and then I layered book page. I did a, just another strip of torn paper. Um, good things are happening. A nice sentiment. And then layered some of the floral um, delights papers and made a little journaling spot out of book page and a little topper of that coordinating paper. And same here, made it just a little, I don't know, a mini bookmark, a mini tag, whatever you want to call that. Okay. So that is, those, those were my ideas um, for this one page wonder. So it was a little bit different take. You end up with three pieces of ephemera and I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys too. I think I am going to grab some of my 12 by 12 papers and make a nice pile of these. So I'll have them for the journals I'm working on. Um, I did wanna say one thing really quick. As with a lot of things, you know, these can be standalone items or just to tuck in pockets, but you can also mount these in your journals. So don't forget that as an idea too. So like for this one, or we'll use the decorated one to demonstrate. Um, if this is your journal page, for example, or if it's a plain journal page, it doesn't really matter. Um, this can literally just be glued down to the page. So now you have this interactive element on your page. If you add glue to three sides, you've got another tuck spot up here, or you could leave one of the sides open for another tag or another journaling card. So don't, don't forget you can do that. I already mentioned this one, you could even turn into just like a little mini notebook or journal. But this one, this one could be mounted on a page too. There's nothing to say you can't have, you know, these interactive elements instead of just tucking things in larger pockets. The matchbook, same thing. It could be like a hidden, a hidden journaling spot. And you may even change your mind about what kind of papers. If you don't want to use the same paper, you know, you could put some other like lined paper or something else um, in there. So lots of ways to do this and to have um, options. This one in a larger journal or something, it might even, you could even mount it like a belly band or a tuck spot behind there, um, you know, depending on the height of your journal page or if you don't even mind that it's not the full height, you know? So many ideas. Okay, so I'm glad you're still enjoying my One Page Wonders. I'm also getting ready to film um, another uh, junk journal idea. Um, video for you guys and you know all of these kind of end up overlapping and so it is super fun and I just can't tell you guys how much I appreciate you watching my videos and um leaving me comments and giving me those thumbs up it really is encouraging and I'm having so much fun with you all right have a great day until next time bye